What's up, everybody? Welcome to Podcast Now. I'm Alex, and I'm once again joined by Tyler. We're back for another Kingdom Hearts video. In this video, we want to talk about the black box in Kingdom Hearts 3. We've had a lot of videos discussing the ending, discussing the epilogue, discussing the secret ending of Kingdom Hearts 3. We want to talk about one of the most important things in Kingdom Hearts 3, and also what this could lead for Kingdom Hearts 4. This connects to a lot of videos we've already done and will do. The black box, it's being searched uh, for by a lot of members of the organization 13. Maleficent and Pete have their own story where the going after the box, and we'll talk about uh, that story of the actual black box in Kingdom Hearts 3. We want to talk about what is actually inside this box. It was obviously uh, first shown to us in the back cover. It connects the Master of Masters, who we also believe shows up in the secret ending of Kingdom Hearts 3. So there's a lot there. We actually have a line of what literally could be in the black box that Tyler will go over, um, who says it, and what he actually says is in the box. But we want to basically ask the question, we want to hear from you guys in the comments below, what is in the black box? And how will that connect to Kingdom Hearts 4? How does that connect to the Master of Masters? So, Tyler, you know, we have the line of hope being in, in the box, um, but what do you actually believe is in the box, or what do you think hope actually stands for? Well, we do see in Kingdom Hearts 3, in the Pirates of the Caribbean world, uh, literally right before the final battle, Sora's questioning Luxord about, you know, like, why do they need a box? What's in it? And Luxor says, basically, he doesn't know. The higher-ups didn't tell him. So Xehanort and Xemnas and all them didn't tell any of these lower-level organization members what is in the black box. But if they were to find a black box, they're simply supposed to just take it and bring it back with them. And then he says, but they did say the box contains hope. Now, do I myself actually believe that it's sort of like if you played the game, God of War 3, Pandora's box, literally it's empty, but in it was hope. I don't think it's something like that. Whatever it is, if, I mean, it could be empty, I don't know. But whatever's in the box, for them to say hope, it, it, and obviously remember, Xemnas and Xehanort Tartless, they're, it's all, ju and young Xehanort, it's just Master Xehanort. They're all just Master Xehanort. What they want is what Master Xehanort wants. So for... Master Xehanor to want hope, um, or, or, you know, if it should um, be found and to just, like, bring it to them, um, for him to want hope, um, we have to think about, well, what is it that Master Xehanor wanted? We know that he wanted Kingdom Hearts. We know that he wanted the Keyblade. We get all of that. We understand that he had to create these 13 darknesses, whether he wanted to or not. He had to create these 13 darknesses to go up against these seven lights. He had to plan all of this stuff out to make sure that these lights were there. He would cover the 13 darknesses part, and he had to make sure that the, that the lights did what they needed to do, so he kind of orchestrated all of that. He then gets Kingdom Hearts, and then he tells us at the end that basically in the beginning there was darkness. From the darkness there was light. Light created hearts. Hearts created people. And then these people started to fall to darkness because some people just were bad. So all over the universe, he calls it the world, but all over the universe, these hearts were carried within these people that were created. And, and they had darkness in them. And that darkness spread like a plague. And it just plagued the entire universe with darkness. Uh, and there was nobody there to defend that light. No one was there to save that light. Um, so he wanted to reset everything, set everything back to light, or really set everything back to darkness to create light again, to create hearts, to create people. But this time, he would be there with the Keyblade to defend the light. So that way, darkness never spread across the universe ever again. That's what he wanted. So we have, to, And we have to understand that at, at the core, for us to talk about, you know, well, why would he want hope? Well, he needs hope. In my opinion, I think that he's not even sure what's in it himself, but he probably feels whatever's in it will help him in that quest to protect the light. So it's something... Because, and again, you know, what Master Xehanort did, how he went about it, was so wrong and bad, but he had good intentions in a way. Um so he ju he whatever he wanted that hope has to be something positive to to either keep darkness at bay or to make sure that light remains strong 
So so that we can almost say with a almost with a certainty. If it's not something that would be good for the light, then that shouldn't even have been in the game. Right? They they never Master Xehanort and the higher ups never should have said it contains hope. Then it becomes a mess story wise, really. Um so assuming that that Namora and everybody knows what they're doing story wise and they're gonna connect it, which they usually do in these Kingdom Hearts games. I assume it's something that Master Xehanor at least perceives to be something that would be positive. Um, I don't. Again, I don't actually believe it's anything. I don't think it's legitimately hope. So what I believe is inside of the black box is souls. It could be many souls or it could just be one soul in particular. And if it is just one soul in particular, I would say it's the Master of Masters. But the reason that it's souls, in my opinion, the reason that I think it would be souls is because when we look at all of these Kingdom Hearts games, the first game we know is about the heart. The second game is about nobodies, but really nobodies are just bodies, right? So we have hearts, we have bodies. Um, Birth by Sleep is about negativity. So now we have hearts, we have bodies, we have negativity, and we know that negativity can affect our, you know, how our, how we feel. It could affect our hearts, um, our hearts from, you know, if, if it's sad or or whatever. When, when we feel down, that affects our body. So that is connected. They don't they don't do that in Kingdom Hearts, but we know as as people, we know that when bad things happen or sad things happen or whatever, when people die or you lose a pet or something like that, it hurts us. And then sometimes we get sick or you know that's why depression is bad for you know your body it make it can make things happen so the negativity the heart and body they are definitely connected but one of the things that we all have it doesn't even matter what religion you believe in no matter what one of the things that we all have and ironically is the name of the keyblade which is really the the chi blade in like uh, Japan, it's Ki, like K-I in, in Dragon Ball Z, it's Ki, or Chi, it's all, Chakra, Chi, Ki, it's all the same thing, it's life force energy, that's what the soul is, we all have life force energy, so it makes sense, in my eyes, it makes sense to have the heart, the body, the you know negativity, which that, that's natural in the world, and souls, and you could even say that if you don't want to call it souls, you can call it life or consciousness, the mind, whatever, because it's all similar. The mind is conscious, uh, consciousness is usually life, um, something like that. Rocks, depending on who you are, most people don't think of a sandal or a rock as having life because it does not have consciousness. But dogs have consciousness, therefore that's how we know that they have life, they, you know what I mean? So I feel like that whole aspect, heart, body, negativity, and the and the opposite is positivity, um, energies, the soul, I feel like that completes the what makes people people. So that makes sense. That in my that's that's just my opinion. That makes sense to cover that soul aspect. Now somewhere we couldn't find it. We tried really hard, but I know it was in Kingdom Hearts 3. I just can't remember who said it. And if you can remember, one of you, whoever's watching, if you can remember and find the clip or whatever, please put it in the comment section below. And then I will literally, I will heart that comment because it needs to be seen. I might even pin it to the top. Um, somewhere it said that even if someone is, let's say someone's struck him down. I don't remember the exact quote. But if they're struck him down, even if their heart, you know, even if their heart you know, goes off or whatever... As long as their soul is still intact, they can still come back. Again, I just don't remember who said it, and I don't remember who it was about. But I know it was said. I'm not crazy. So they did mention souls. They definitely did mention souls. Um, That's not why I think it. I actually have always thought for a while that it would be souls. And I believe that it's the Master of Masters' soul, quite possibly. If not, again, it could be a number of souls that box just might be, it might literally contain souls. Um, so you can create life. That's possible. Um, I have a feeling that it's the Master of Master's soul because 
he might not have wanted to give up his body um, to free his heart so that he could travel through time. He might. He's obviously, you know, with the, he has his grand plan. Um, we talked about the Master of Masters in another video. So we know that he knows what the heck he's doing. So if anybody would know another way to be able to go through time, you know, into the future, but not have to follow the rules of time travel, kind of literally break the rules of, of time, um, I feel like it would be the Master of Masters. If he found a way, because don't forget, he just disappeared one day. Um, so he's somewhere, right? So it almost would make sense to me if he placed his soul, which might contain heart. I don't know how that will work. And and that's the thing about Kingdom Hearts is they can make things work because that's just what they do. They just make things up as they go. Well, not really. It's all planned. Don't Please don't attack me. I know it's all planned. I'm just saying. They, like... They will make up the rule for how souls work. When you, maybe when you remove your soul, or maybe when you place your soul in this box, it literally will keep hold of of you. It'll everything will be still intact. The only thing that you don't have until you re, until something happens, until you can return, um, is your body. But your soul and your heart and everything are contained in that box, because nowhere are we told. That the master of masters had to change body after body after body to continue to live on all those years, like Lushu did. They never say that, um, but yet Lushu is saying that that he will return after the events of essentially the Xehanort saga, after the Keyblade, the second Keyblade War, after Kingdom Hearts is comes back because of Master Xehanort. After all of these things happen, the master of masters will return. But they never say that he changed bodies. So he is somewhere. So I assume he's in that box. That, but his soul, I think, is in that box. Um, so that's one of the reasons why I think it would be his soul. Um, probably to bypass that time travel thing. And what they might end up saying is because his soul is intact. And I think it was in a answer report in Kingdom Hearts 1. It says that if someone's a heartless for too long and they're not... And, and their heartless is, is not destroyed, and the nobody is not de- destroyed for them to become a whole person. If time goes on for too long, what ends up happening is their soul ends up um, essentially perishing. It ends up going off, and it, and it will never be returned. Um, so there is like a time limit on how long uh, your soul can kind of just be hanging out. So if there's this box or this device that's able to contain souls, that probably won't happen. So that's why I think that makes sense. Um, so that was covered in uh, Kingdom Hearts. I don't know what answer report, but it was in an Ansem report. So possibly because his soul is still intact, and don't forget, in the final world, Sora's talking to all these little these little souls, these little stars, and they all say, like, how come you have a body and we don't? So what's possible is that the Master of Masters literally, instead of going to the final world, He's able to not go to the final world. He's able to stay in that box. And because he took out his own eye, known as the gazing eye, and it's in that keyblade, he might actually be able to, as a soul, He's because souls, again, is the life part. It's not the heart. Hearts just record memories and all of that stuff in Kingdom Hearts. The soul would be the thing that pretty much makes you you. Um, you, you might even be able to still talk, just like in the final world, all those little guys are, or little girls or whatever are still able to communicate. They just don't have a form. So I assume because of that, as he's, whatever he's doing, floating in that box, sitting, floating, I don't know, um, sleeping, in that box, because that gazing eye is out there in the Keyblade recording all the events that happen, he likely is able to literally watch every single thing that's taking place because that Keyblade and that gazing eye is out out in you know in the world um so literally as soon as he comes back when the time comes which is essentially now however they're gonna get him out of that box put him in that body again when that time comes he's literally he's not gonna have to be like briefed he's gonna know everything that happened and everything that will happen because this whole time he's been watching um that in my opinion makes the most sense out of everything that i've seen so far um uh, that's just again that's just my opinion but when we look at what what's been established, I think that really does make the most sense. I know that Master Xehanort is saying that 
you know, he wants the box because they say it contains hope. But the Master of Masters never showed any indication of knowing what's in it. Um, and he might he might think that that uh, if there is a soul and it is the Master of Masters, that possibly the Master of Masters, because I, I doubt that Master Zaynard knew about the Master of Masters, or not knew about him, knew of him, that maybe he thought, you know, if, if worse comes to worse, I could just use the Master of Masters to make sure that the light stays strong and, and keep darkness at bay. So maybe that's what he meant. I don't know. So let us know in the comments below, guys. What do you think is inside the black box? Do you think it's a uh, master of masters? What do you think about it in general? Uh, what do you think about any of the questions we posed in this video? Let us know in the comments below. Make sure you guys subscribe and hit that bell icon so you guys are notified for all of our Kingdom Hearts videos. We have a new Kingdom Hearts video going up every single day talking about the ending of Kingdom Hearts 3, Kingdom Hearts 3 theories, as well as Kingdom Hearts 4 theories. So thank you guys, as always, for watching, and we'll see you on the next video.